The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O God. Chapter three, verses one to six. Jesus went into a synagogue, and there was a man there who had a withered hand, and they were watching him to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath day, hoping for something to use against him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Stand up out in the middle. Then he said to them, Is it against the law on the Sabbath day to do good or to do evil? to save life or to kill. But they said nothing. Then grieved to find them so obstinate, he looked angrily round at them and said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was better. The Pharisees went out and at once began to plot with the Herodians against him, discussing how to destroy him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, the good the truthful always suffers. In our lives, we too realize the good people, those who work, are the people who suffer. But those who are silent to those whom nothing affects in life those who do, do not interfere or intervene in any situations, they do not have any problem. They live in life as if they are the only ones on this earth. Nothing affects them. Here Jesus experiences a lot of enmity against him. Plots made even to kill him. So all the enemies who do not like the good works of Jesus, they get together even in our lives. You know when people are jealous of us, they have to find some fault either in the law that we practice. When we do good, they have to find some evil thing in the good that we do, something wrong, so that they can stop us. And on the Sabbath day, there was a group of people who were just watching Jesus doing wrong. For them, wrong means doing good. So, even today, we have people who will watch the Christians doing good, people of any other religion doing good, and try to destroy the harmony, the peace, by taking them to task, by ransacking, by bringing physical anger and tortures. A man who had a withered hand was in the synagogue when Jesus was present on the Sabbath. Jesus looks at this man. The man does not request for healing. But the people around knew that he is going to heal him. So a group of people are watching. And they are scribes, Pharisees, and the hypocrites who think 
that they are following the law. At that time, Jesus is putting a question to them on the Sabbath day. Is it right to do good or to do evil? Is it to save life or to kill someone? And they remain silent because they cannot say good nor can they say bad. They are bad people so they cannot see that you can do good. But Jesus does not bother about them. He wants to heal the man who is in need of healing at that time. He tells the man, come out here, stretch your hand, and he gets healing. His hand is better. So the people who are making plot go around to the Herodians because they were against Jesus already. So when you want to motivate people to do evil, to kill someone, to destroy someone, you find those people like you who are against the good those who do not tolerate the good. And all the enemies get together and try to destroy the good in front of you. This is what the humanity did with God, Jesus the Lord, who but did not escape from the sufferings. But there he was to accept everything as the will of God to save you and to save me. So my dear friends, let us take up doing good. Along with it, let us learn to accept persecutions, sufferings, hatred. Look at them with love. Just as St. Francis de Sales says, even if you pluck out one of my eye, I will still look at you with love with the other eye. Yes, my dear friends, this is the motto of every Christian. Not to retaliate, not to look for any type of destruction and hatred against those who hate us, but to look at them with love, concern, affection, Amen.